How's it going, everybody? Um, let's continue on in John. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom have sent him, for whom he have sent him, ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, and ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men. I think I read that right. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. Obviously, he's speaking to the scribes and the Pharisees. I come in my father's name and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. That's the Antichrist. If another what? Shall come in his own name. Because... Jesus is saying, I come as Christ. But if another Christ, Antichrist, shall come in his own name, him you will receive. Well, Daniel 7, the Antichrist is the horn, and Daniel 8, the horn. And a trump is a horn, and a horn is a trump. It's the only one that fulfills that prophecy. And don't forget, his name does come to 666, and SIX, SIX, SIX does come to Donald John Trump. Again, it's the D-R-U-M-P-F that fulfills the 666 prophecy in both directions, which was his original surname. It was changed. We've shown you that many times. That's an easy Google search. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father there is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not of his writings, how shall ye believe my words? All right. And in my opinion, we, you know, that sort of closes out a section of the Gospel of John. And what you're going to get into next as we get into John 6, is we start to really get into the election and predestination section of the Gospel of John, which is the largest uh, gospel that speaks to, I mean, directly to election and predestination. After these things, Jesus went over to the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased. Let's move over to the last chapter in Daniel. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since before there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Of course, that would be the book of life. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, that's sheep, and some to shame and everlasting contempt, that would be goats. The judgment is what is everlasting. That is their contempt. It speaks of being everlasting because... We don't want to anybody to mislead you to think, oh, well, there will be, you know, the old like purgatory thing like, oh, well, after such and such amount of time, everybody comes back and, you know, they're all forgiven. And, blah, 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 blah. and they that be wise sheep shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up thy words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on the side of the bank of the river, the other on the side of the bank of the river. Did I read that right? The one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. There we go. Let me highlight... This side, so I don't miss that next time, and that side. Yay! 
And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be till the end of these wonders? I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.